talked about what he's done to keep his knees feeling good and everything that goes into him being a pro performer and a, and a key contributor to this team. It's just sad to see him go down, but now you got to step up in his place. Emmanuel quickly was acquired in the trade, passing to his former Nick teammate, R.J. Barrett, who hits both Canadian as well as is Chris Boucher. But he's tough to deal with. Then you got Schroeder coming off the bench as Pirtle scores inside, so... Higgins nearly lost it, and loose on the deck, and it is a turnover. They don't stop the ball at all, and so you got Barrett just cruise right in. So Zach Zarba, Sean Corbin, and Matt Bowen will blow the whistles. Kaminga answering right back. Kaminga rocks into a three. And that outlet to Siakam beat everyone down court. And Steve Kerr's got to use an early timeout. Wiggins thought about that three. Shot clock at five. And Andrew, a little mid-range. He's having one guy drive and one guy cut off of it, or one guy post up, the other guy cut, and vice versa. There's a lot of different opportunities that can come about, a lot of potential. Quickly bottoming a three. I want to see the rebounding. The athleticism. You got the length and athleticism. On both ends. Yeah. Great Jackson Davis speaking of athleticism, putting it up and in. Just a tandem that would be terrific. And defensive rebounding, you got to do it. You got to dig in. And it's a good team to see this lineup against with the athleticism and the length of the Toronto Raptors as R.J. Barrett posts up against a small defender. Play with the mid-range. So the Raptors are a pretty good offensive rebounding team. And when teams see the Warriors, they try to up their level on that side. Another turnover here. Warriors with four giveaways and Barrett, another layup. Yeah, Scotty Barnes, who can post up. Your on-ball defense, post-defense, is going to be tested this game. Kamenga, good patience and finish. And they keep going in the direction they're going right now offensively. Defensively, there's been some slippers lately. They started out great, though. Steph Curry took a little bump, and Looney carried on. Quickly and Schroeder, that is a lot of quickness and ball handling, and Scoring ability is quickly continues the Toronto just beautiful offense. And Clay hitting a three. Jemski on Siakam. And the little baby hook doesn't go. Looney, a third opportunity. Look at Kevon Looney work. Quickly, hey, they're human. Toronto finally missed. Jemski back on Schroeder. And Brandon. That's KYP. Dennis Schroeder's not going to stop you there. Siaka spinning. A lot of extra steps there. Gary Trent Jr. for three. Man, no matter who is in a white jersey, they're hitting from everywhere. Yeah. And I think about you know playing defense and rebounding the basketball was my ticket to get playing time. Yeah. What did you take from Don Nelson, George Carl, and then later Rudy Tomjanovic? My expectations were so it was great. Uh, had a great. Coach and Rudy T, uh, great person as well, and tremendous guys to you know to coach. And you guys had success into young guys trying to figure out how to stick in this league. Just figure out what you do well. If you can be an amazing rebounder, there's a place for you on the team. If you can be a lockdown defender, as Barrett knocks down a three, Jamski missing the three there. The Warriors are three of 17 on threes. Chris Boucher taking it back the other way. R.J. Barrett. Buried one and then make another one. They're playing together so well. You get R.J. Barrett driving to his left. The whole defense follows him. Then you get Gary Trent curling in there. They're just using each other. Clay Thompson, beautiful backdoor cut. Barrett was holding on to him. Clay just extricated himself and went right to the rim. Yeah, if your defender isn't in between you and the basket, you have to cut back door. Sharge will see you. Barrett again. And Trace Jackson Davis finally made a miss, but Pirtle. Rebounding and the Raptors are playing some smart basketball right now. Kaminga back in. This is the biggest deficit. Steph, that's perfect. Just perfect to Trace Jackson Davis. And Scotty Barnes sending Siakam on his way. Quickly lives up to his name to get to the baseline and float that home. We can just get this thing around 10 at halftime. It'll feel more doable. Clay Thompson. Clay has got it locked on automatic. Steph to Looney and Scotty Barnes blocking it. 
He just stayed in the play. And the lob to Merritt. Siakam had nowhere to go. Back out to quickly for three. Scotty Barnes with the rebound. RJ Barrett, how hot am I? I'm not hot. Raptors aren't stopping at 70. Oh, finally missed a dunk. RJ Barrett, another three. And it's way more fluid now. And, and his teammates and the coaching staff, they're all in. And as Looney gets to the basket, two defenders stay with Steph. Playing good basketball, which the words did not do in the first half. Nice pass, Looney to Sharif to lay it up and in and draw the foul. That was pretty sweet. He wanted that one. Man, but Jeff, has got eight rebounds. He's fighting his own teammates for it. Play Thompson three. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Percent three point shooter. And sometimes it just goes that way. Yeah. Steph, beautiful reverse. Yeah, get Steph going. It's, it's... RJ Barron continues to do incredible work and rattling out Trace Jackson Davis. Another opportunity. Yeah, Trace Jackson Davis tagged in for Looney. He's continuing the work on the glass. Clay Thompson keeps shooting, Clay. You're 8 of 12 with 19 points. Manual quickly floating it up and in. Nice. This is the rebound. Rip off six, seven in a row here. The crowd will become part of it. Beautiful pass by Clay. Ten. That was pretty good defense. Clay's been playing some great defense lately, actually. Mango full speed to put it up and in. Clay Thompson three. Okay. It's down to 13. Screens for him. He's got a big dude doing that. It was post game. Play the heat check. Fully on. 25. Just had it knocked away. So critical turnovers here. The Warriors aren't even getting shot at steps. Boucher trails a three. Schroeder is German. International of the NBA, and Dennis Schroeder hitting from the baseline. Decided against it. The defender didn't really bite, like he didn't really try to make it. He just went. Boucher had made one three and hits another one. So Trent Jr. and Porter with RJ Barrett, Boucher, and Schroeder. And Chris Boucher, the easy one. Boucher was just moving without the ball, cutting through there. His defender stayed with the ball handler. There's any mistake the Warriors make, the Raptors are making a pay. Step, nice reverse. The defense was slipping. And you don't have Chris Paul now, you don't have Gary Payton, and you're still waiting for Draymond to come back. And Barrett, he is just having a night. It's not a pays dividends. And Zion Williamson. And the way the Pelicans have been rolling, 50 best basketball players in the world. Given nights, it could be amazing. It's Trace Jackson Davis. I tell you, him as a roller, figuring out ways to close out. Just got to keep fighting, keep your positivity. I think the only team I ever saw that never really had too many of those or minimal, along with Jalen McDaniels. And Thaddeus Young is still in the lead. He is. Nice lob from Moody to Trace Jackson. Thaddeus Young went the other way. Trace Jackson Davis was ready for him. Moody just attacking. Beauty. Here as Robinson misses a point blank layup. Garrett Temple will finish on the other end. A, a, a lot of it, too, is communication. Look at Gary Temple putting on a, a dribbling display. It's going to be stolen by Quinones. Toronto doing eight and a half percent for the game. Made 15 threes. They had eight players in double figures against Sack. They put six players in double.